Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we ask that you will grant us strength and wisdom, goodness and perseverance in in what is in this day. Lord, help us to have the, the, the strength to stand of courage in our faith and proclaim your good news to not be afraid of what others might say about what you've called on us to believe, what your word declares to us, what your Holy Spirit is inspiring in us as we we discover the reality, the truth, the wonder, and the engagement of your word in how we live our lives. And Lord, we pray for others who are are facing this challenge and and are uncertain where to turn. And we pray for those whose community of faith or not supporting them the way that you call us all to support one another. Lord, we pray in thanks for our congregations, for our churches, for those with whom we can we can go with our our questions of faith and ask one another that as much as we turn to you in prayer that we have a a fellowship that surrounds us that helps us with our belief, with, with our struggles, but Lord, who also will just simply struggle with us. Lord, we, we give you thanks and praise for our life in the church. And Lord, we, we pray today for, for fellowships that are caught up in, in, in their means and in, in their resources that are so caught up in what they have and what they don't have that they've lost touch with what they are called to do with whatever they have that our calling in Christ is not about money management as much as it is about spiritual management and spiritual direction. And Lord, we, we pray that we will be able to, to be guided in spirit to do with whatever we have to do your will, to bring you glory and praise. Lord, we pray for healing. We pray for healing for those that we will encounter today that are in suffering in body, mind, or spirit. And Lord, grant us an awareness of how we can be a part of their healing. And Lord, we we know that we and who we are are not capable of doing everything, but in our our place, let us be a part of the miracles you are making as you transform lives, that we might be a part of your blessing and seen to be a part of your blessing, that we we might be recognized as your children, as those who are, are servants of your love, sent out into the world as as a sign that your word is true, as as an encouragement to those who, who who need to have their hope fulfilled. Lord, let us be each other's blessing as we honor you in Christ Jesus, our Savior and Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. And, sorry, we went a little sideways there with the video. We turn now in God's word to reading from Hebrews chapter 7 at verse 19. For the law made nothing perfect, but the bringing in of a better hope did, by which we draw nigh unto God. The purpose of the law and the purpose of law is to make mistakes clear, to point out a great way, the right way to be about things, but it doesn't fulfill the deep needs of the Spirit to take us beyond the law, to take us to the goal of the law. And that is very much what what Christ did. In Christ's death and resurrection, we are drawn for the place where, not, not where the law is removed, but where it's fulfilled. And we are taken and encouraged to be a part of that fulfillment. And in that fulfillment, to be a part of each other's blessing in in how not only we testify that the law is complete, that the law is has its final direction in Christ, not, not to throw the way of the law other, uh, utterly, but to say, and now we know the law has purpose. It's hard when society even gives us laws that seem to have no meaning, they have no touch with reality. But God's laws have always helped us touch and and, and feel the full nature of our reality. But God's intention is that in recognizing, in the, in the conviction of our sin, to then know our salvation. And we know our salvation in Christ. And he is the fulfillment of that salvation in our lives. And we are meant to rejoice. Not that we can just simply put the law aside, but we put the law in the context of Christ. 
and we know that we are loved. God bless and keep you. Amen.